Okay, it's uh, Justin Dyke here from CartoonSmart.com, and we got more Swift code. This time we're going to be looking at uh, four loops and arrays. And I hear someone in the crowd that said, yeah, we could all use arrays. No, not that type of arrays. I mean an array, <laughs> okay? So uh, that's one of the first things we'll create, and then we'll uh, kind of play around with it with the for statement. So let's uh, first, though, go about creating a little simple variable. We we'll call this uh, current level equals int. And I'm uh, sorry, it's a, the int is the type, and it's going to equal three. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll create our actual array. And uh, this time I'll make it a constant. Uh, so after I've uh, created the array, I won't be able to go and uh, change it or insert any uh, other values into it, which is okay for now. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, levels, and what we're going to write here is inside of uh, your square brackets some string values, and uh, let's just uh, come up with some hypothetical level names here. So uh, swamp would be a good one. We're going to comma, comma separate all of these. Uh, volcano might make another nice one. How about uh, abandoned high school? And one more. Let's uh, go with haunted Walmart. Okay, be sure that you've got that closed off with your closing bracket. And now let's take a look at uh, how we can use this. So uh, we could create another variable over here called uh, current level name. It's kind of on the longer side of variable. Oh, oh. I've had that occur a few times recently. I've. Uh, don't know what it is. Okay, uh, var current level name, and it'll probably just keep telling me that until I, uh, <laughs> I quit. And we've restarted. Okay, so current level name is going to equal levels, and uh, of course that is our array name. And then the neat thing about this is you can put inside of those same style brackets an index. Uh, and these all start at zero, all right? So zero is going to equal swamp, and you can see that's showing up right over here. And of course, if I change it to one, I'll get volcano and so on like that. And uh, instead of just putting in a number here, you could put in your current level. So now we've got uh, haunted Walmart, right? And uh, now let's uh, let's kind of uh, poke through our list with a uh, for statement. And this is a uh, kind of a, a, one of the more concise ways of uh, running a, a for statement. What we do is just write for level. All right. Now, of course, that's not actually levels plural. It's something different. It's going to equal a different thing at runtime. So for every iteration of this. Uh, level is going to go through and equal swamp, volcano, abandoned high school, and haunted Walmart. All right, and uh, your for loop is uh, it's kind of a very quick temporary uh, cycle. All right, so the code in here is going to iterate, it's going to loop through uh, for whatever the condition is up here. All right, and uh, that condition is, of course, based on how many uh, values are actually in the array. So we've got four here, so that means it's going to uh, loop through four times. And uh, to just uh, throw in a little example, we could say something like if uh, current level name equals uh, level, then do something, right? And we might as well make sure that that's actually working. So uh, let's uh, let's print out a line here, and we'll say this must be the place we are at. The and uh, I don't think one thing I don't think I've taught this yet in the basic lessons. Uh, if you want to uh, spit back out a uh, one of your variables right here, you can uh, do that. You could uh, do your I believe that's a backslash. And then in parentheses, put in the variable. So we're going to put in here level. Now we could have put in here current level, of course, too. But uh, just you know, to show that that equals level there. And sure enough, in our uh, little playground window, it is uh, giving us the correct uh, current level. So that's one great way to write a uh, a for statement. And probably one of the ways that you, uh, if you've learned uh, this in the past, is you, you're more familiar with maybe uh, this look, where you have uh, three conditions in here. So you'd put in here four, 
uh, var equals or var i equals zero. It doesn't have to be an i; it could be any name. But uh, i is a nice little short one. Uh, and then we do a, a semicolon. So we've set this to be zero. That's one um, one part of it. And then while uh, i is less than, and in this case, what we'll do is we'll put in here levels dot count. And uh, every array has uh, this uh, count property to it, which uh, just returns the number of items inside of it all right so we know that that's four so uh, basically while I is less than four okay and then the last thing we have to do is so that this doesn't uh, end up kind of cycling through forever we have to increment I all right so we could write it like that we could also put uh, I equals I plus one all right but since this is already something of a long line convoluted might as well just do the little shorthand I plus plus and uh, then we can put in here uh, print line and we can do levels so that's our array name again with uh, I in there because of course I is going to equal something different every iteration of this so the first time around I is going to equal zero right and we know what's at our zero index that's going to be Oh, it's still going to tell me four times here, but that's going to be swamp on the first go round. Let's put that back to I. Then on the second time round, volcano, third time, and so on, like that. And uh, that is something that you'll do quite a lot as a, uh, a game programmer uh, with uh, Swift and SpriteKit, or, or just as a programmer in general. Uh, there's an old. I, I can't, ima can't imagine too many apps I've created that don't use a for loop in them somewhere. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well look at uh, dictionaries as well. Let's go ahead and put a little note here. Um, dictionary code. Okay, um, the arrays and, uh, and dictionaries are somewhat similar. Uh, where arrays are ordered, okay, uh, zero is always the index of zero is always going to give you swamp. Uh, and one's always going to give you volcano. Uh, dictionaries are, are considered unordered. Um, so even though you can set them up like this. Uh, you're not guaranteed that the when the code looks through them uh, that you're going to get that exact order. Uh, so let's uh, let's set one up real fast. We're going to say uh, let. How about uh, level difficulties? Difficulties. Yeah, I think I can still spell equals and then. Um, you know, kind of the reason these are called dictionaries is because they have a, a key and a value. All right, so you go look up the word Swift in the dictionary, you're going to get a value or a definition from it. Okay, so think of dictionaries uh, exactly like that. And uh, all right, now uh, we'll do something similar. So we'll just say uh, swamp, and uh, this time around, uh, we're going to colon separate. Uh, our key from its next value, and uh, let's uh, let's make this uh, one. Okay, so it's got a difficulty of one, and you can put a comma over here. Uh, you could keep writing, uh, so you know we could go and take our volcano and uh, put in here. This one has a, a a difficulty rating of two, and you could you know string them all out like that. Another thing you could do is. Um, just kind of uh, put them on separate lines and, and tab se separate them like that. So uh, now we would do another one, put it out here. And that's just kind of up to you if you want to. It's easier, you know, to look at. Uh, okay, so that uh, that has created our dictionary. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll look through it. And again, we'll use a uh, for statement. And inside of here, uh, we can essentially name our key and our value uh, just the, like the same way we did with level okay uh, but we're gonna put these in uh, a parentheses and comma separate them so uh, the first appropriate name here would be uh, you know level name and then level uh, or you know what let's drop that level, level from here so let's put in here difficulty uh, in and then here's where we put back our Dictionary name. Pop that guy back out, and uh, you know what? I forgot the comma after that one. All right, uh, and so then to um, you know test this out, we could uh, put in here uh, print, 
and uh, let's do kind of the same thing we did over here. Uh, this must be the place. We are at the, then we can put in here level name and put uh, the difficulty is, and just spit back out the difficulty. And this time around, I really want to know that uh, this is this is correct. So let's go over here and press uh, the value history, and uh, now we can actually see a little bit more detail. Uh, so it says this must be the place we're at the swamp. The difficulty is one. So uh, instead of just telling us that it ran three times, it's now showing us what what the actual. Uh, values uh, were inside of here and again uh, don't forget that uh, you know this is considered unordered okay so you look up things uh, via a key and a in a in the, in the dictionary uh, but uh, you know it just so happened that when we ran through this in the for statement it did uh, you know kind of put things in one two three order uh, so that's not necessarily the case but it just so happened out that way for us here uh, let me put a few more spaces down here, just so I'm not typing at the bottom of the uh, screen. Uh, so let's uh, let's create another variable real fast. Uh, it could be a var, it could be a, a let, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just make this a uh, simple little thing like d equals. Uh, and all I wanted to show you is a uh, another way to look up, obviously, the value for the um, inside of the the level difficulties dictionary. So we can put it over here equals level difficulties. And uh, to get the value for a particular key, we just put in here the key name, right? So watch this. You just say swamp. And that's, of course, returning one for us. Let's just double check our work. So if we put in here volcano, that is returning uh, two. And if we uh, put in here our current level, uh, which is, uh, I set that to two, is, uh, is oh, I'm sorry. We gotta remove the quotes, but this should work. Because remember our, oh, I'm sorry too. It should be current level name. Our current level name right now is Abandoned High School, which we have in there. And uh, level difficulties, we put in here current level name. So that's a variable now. And it is returning for us three. And, you know, I guess just that we make kind of a more well rounded example. Let's put in all of them. There we go, and I, once again, of course, I forgot uh, the comma. And uh, let's see, you know, I guess if we wanted to tie this all together, we could consider putting in here the, uh, the variables for the, let's see if this will work. I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> Considering I do have those written in two places at once. <laughs> um, of course, I should get that lingering error, but I don't think that's anything to worry about. Let's look at this one more time. Uh, this must be the place. We're at the swamp. Yeah, well, hmm. Ah, but this is this is interesting. At least it's um, this time when it, it it iterated through those, it didn't uh, actually put them in that exact same order. So that that's kind of cool to look at. But um, yeah, I mean, I think you know, uh, as you're learning or whatever, this this kind of looks a little crazy. But uh, you know, it, uh, it it proves the point here. So you know, we created an array an array of level names, and then we used the each one of those values as the key in a dictionary, which uh, then was uh, used to set the uh, difficulty values uh, over here. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's just, uh, you know, kind of cool. And, you know, while we're here, let's uh, let's do a little bit more. Uh, I did not know this. <laughs> this is kind of a cool one. Uh, you could put in here four. 
uh, character and uh, in, and then we can just put in here any string value, right? So let's uh, put in here cartoonsmart.com uh, and we just put in here print, oops, character. It uh, iterated it through uh, through there 16 times, and you want to see what it spit back out? Look at that, <laughs> the individual character from um, that uh, that string value, and uh, you, you know, uh, don't uh, don't disregard that one too quickly. That's uh, that, you know, that, there's a lot of uses for uh, being able to just look through um, and, and grab out. Each character very simply like that. I've I've seen uh, uh, code that has spent a lot more time doing exactly that. Okay, let's uh, wrap this up, and uh, I'm gonna paste this into my uh, blog. But I'm just gonna change this a little bit of text right here. I'll say, uh, "I'm so scared." We are at the blank blank blank, and the difficulty is okay. So, so there's a little variety there in our two uh, print lines. Okay, thanks for watching this one.